Fabio Viviani. You know, I was I was born in a restaurant. You know, I went to work very early stage in my life, uh, peeling potato, doing whatever the chef was asking me to do. Now we got restaurant, not much difference. You know, I still do whatever my employee tell me to do. So it didn't change much. The whole scene is still there, not change a bit. But now we decided what food goes on the plate, what kind of drink we want to serve. So now we get to deal with the decision behind the experience. So I have Italian food, that's all I know how to do it. So don't come here and judge me for something you're expecting because we're not going to feed you that. We're just simple laid back Italian food. And that's what we do, you know. People call me a celebrity because I've been a few times on TV, maybe three times with this one. And uh, I'm just, I just work my ass off every day. I mean, hardcore worker, 130, 140 hours a week, non-stop, since I was a baby. So, you know, I don't consider myself a chef. I'm considered a well-rounded cook in the restaurant business, which is my business. And I'm an entrepreneur, so I do everything else also on top of food. The first memory was uh, my grandmother. And I know what you're expecting me to say, that I learned everything I know from grandma and was such a big tradition in my family. That's bullcrap. I set my grandma on fire when I was five years old. And the reason why I'm cooking right now is because she loved me so much that she didn't listen to my dad and she didn't get rid of me. They taught me how to convey this energy in something constructive rather than destructive. And that's how I start. I was baking pie, making fresh pasta with a milk crack underneath my feet. I couldn't even reach the table and I was making bread already with grandma. That was a good way to keep the energy low for a terrible kids like I was. Nothing bad to say about Top Chef. Great experience, was a great show, great exposure for myself, did amazing. My hamburg, hamburg, burg, fuck it, I can't even pronounce it anymore. Burg, burger, whatever. Burger. burger. It was not great, and I get it. You know, look, it's a cooking show. I am not American. If you had a panini there, I would be still in the competition. Come for some serious Italian food, I'll kick anybody's ass on there, anybody. Companies pay millions of dollars to be on television and brand placement and everything. All I did was to go there and be myself. TV is the kind of exposure you can pay for, but if you use it right, it opens a lot of doors. I have a clothing line, I endorse product, I work with a lot of companies. This is everything I was doing already, don't get me wrong. TV didn't add anything. Just expand in a better way what I got already going. Stay tuned to this one. We're making some fresh pasta. Actually, I'm picking capellini today. Some fresh quick sauce with an easy to cook pasta. This will take three, four minutes in the water. Quick fix that anybody can do, anybody. Very good. Drop the pasta right now. Now, a little sauce. I wouldn't be Italian if I wasn't using garlic. Just make a little garlic olive oil. Just a little garlic. A good extra virgin. Pinch of salt. Sorry, buddy. No, buddy, I'm in your way, I'm sorry. Oh, please. Pinch of salt. Pinch of pepper. Some chili flakes. Fresh calamari. Few muscle. So now we get here, we turn the fire on, and we cover it. While the seafood is cooking, the pasta is al dente in the water. And one trick to make the perfect Italian quick, sexy dish is don't overcook your pasta. You know somebody said uh, to me once that, Matthew, when you throw the pasta at the wall, if it sticks to it, it sticks to the wall. it's cooked. Now, if it sticks to the wall, it's crap. That's called glue, not pasta. Really? Pasta gotta be al dente, gotta have the bite to the tooth. How do you avoid that? Uh, you, you gotta take it out halfway through the cooking and finish it with the sauce. What I do recommend is to use something that crap the sauce and never lets it go. Okay. Now a long flat pasta or something small that the sauce gets into it, it's nice. With pasta, eat it if you need something like good carbs, some wheat, some uh, grain. I wouldn't eat wheat pasta every day. There is a lot of uh, commercial inspired, the little butterfly, the little fusilli, little, this is like a thousand shape. Get three, four different Keep pasta. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Penne or a chiette, maybe a little fusilli. Linguine, penne, that's all you need. Fresh pasta, you can make it on yourself. Fettuccine, pappardelle. Now, that's what I'm talking about. You take pasta out. 
Once you pass out, you have to keep it on then. That's thousand. Shoot. That's like a thousand degrees. Check this out. This is not mushy. You see how stay nice and look. You still the white little dot in the middle. You see that? Olive oil, you gotta be careful because extra virgin does not withstand really hot temperature, so it's not the best one for frying, sauteing, high heat. Seasoning that's the one you want to use because you get the most flavor out of it. We did simple. There's no, this is there is no secret here. Look, mixology after. Look at this. You see how the pasta, you see, look at this, you gotta see it inside. You see how the pasta still get the shape and it's not mushy, it's not overcooked, it's nice and loose. Look at this. Look at this sex. Look at this. Now. Another important thing is do not overcook your shell. Don't overcook your shellfish. Look at this. Shall we try it? And look, I like my pasta al dente. Don't be scared. Oh boy, we're here. It's good. Spicy, fresh herbs, the shellfish. Uh, Mari, how, how long did it take? Like three minutes? I, I, I've got a great idea. Give me something. Well, we, we were in Italian restaurants, very laid back food in the middle, in the middle of the valley here between Ventura and Los Angeles. Simple food, laid back, you got a taste tonight. Original, traditional Italian dishes with a twist.